Crummy, that's Castor, and today something's gonna happen. Despite the fact that I hinted at promising a pottery haul or showcase, if you will, video this week, I have changed my mind because March has come to an end nearly and I really do love the idea of like a favourites video, um, I enjoy watching them, I am really excited about making one, so the pottery is on pause, that might be next week, who knows what's going to happen next week. So today it is my March favourites haul and Caster's March favourites haul and I'm just going to say Possibly next month I need to have a limit on how many things I have favourited. And Caster's haul is amazing, so she's got some pretty good favourites this month. Also, she's not happy about having to sleep on the bed instead of sitting on my lap. And honestly, I'm not very happy about it either. So we're going to start off with Caster's favourites this month because there are significantly less than there are mine and they're pretty darn adorable. She did, as you may have seen, acquire a lot of outfits this month, but I think her favourites of the bandanas was this one. Um, she hasn't quite got through wearing them all, she has worn about three of them, um, but this one I think she was pretty taken with, I was pretty taken with, it looked amazing on her. And Castor's other firm favourite for this month was, of course, her frog outfit, which she wears most days, especially when she's a bit chilly. It's a bit more snuggly than her coat. Um, it's lovely and soft, the most adorable colour. I'm very partial to greeny blue tones, and this is lovely. And look at those eyes. She looks fantastic in it. This was from Kmart and I think it was $8 and it is one of the best purchases of 2018 as far as I'm concerned. So they are Castor's favourites. Um, a firm favourite for Castor every month is her orange toy which she is completely enamoured with. She has two and a half on the go at the moment I believe um, and anytime she gets a new one it is like the best day of her life. doesn't really get better than an orange toy. Maybe a dash of puppy milk. So this month it was actually my birthday. So I have a few things in here that were birthday gifts and a few things that make me think maybe I like pink a bit more than I would have myself believe because I seem to be getting into the pink and sparkles vibe and I wouldn't have thought that that would be something I would be into. Um, but I love these items very intently, so perhaps Pink and Sparkly Romy is returning. I don't know, I haven't seen her in a few years, but she might be on her way back. So I recently got these two nail polishes. I have quite a nail polish collection, and I already have a colour like this. Um, it's a little bit more sparkly though, and I didn't realise, so... I've now got a few bottles of it and it's lucky because I love this colour. Um, these are Ultra 3 and there's this really lovely like, it's called Black Plum which pretty much sold me on it. The names often do the, do the job. And the blue one is called Isle of Blue. These are really lovely nail polishes. I've actually got very messy Black Plum on at the moment. These are really good, they're really light, um, they're gorgeous colours, and I believe they are cruelty free, or at least they don't test on animals, um, and I try and get vegan products um, and cruelty free products, so I believe these two, they're the same brand, I believe they are cruelty free. I definitely have to give a shout out to Manic Panic Voodoo Blue. Oh, it looks like I don't have very much of this left. No, it's just all slid everywhere. Um, at the beginning of the month, I didn't actually have blue or green hair at all. I had 
mostly natural, mostly my natural um, blonde brown hair. I was like a day away from getting it all chopped off because I was just not happy with where my hair was at. And then I was like, well, I have always wanted to have blue hair. Um, it doesn't matter if I don't like it because I can just get it cut off. So I went for it and it has been quite a while since I have loved my hair as much as I have loved it with this on it. Manic Panic is predominantly the hair dye colour that I use. I have tried henna before um, and I've tried Arctic Fox but Manic Panic is my favourite. It just, the colours are amazing and they make me want to try so many. Um, I am shortly going to be re dyeing my hair because I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's very faded. And I mean, the Manic Panic fade is pretty spectacular. I do love that entire process, but I'm ready for it to be pre freshened up. This for my birthday, it is this lovely Baltic Amber. I'm not sure if it's raw Baltic Amber um, necklace. I can't remember where it was from. Ooh. I can't remember where it was from, but I'll put the link in the description. It's this amazing ombre through all different shades, and it's so nice. It feels so clarifying to wear it. These are very reminiscent of a pair of gumboots I had when I was four or five, and they were like the gumboots of my childhood. Um, I think the pink was a bit brighter these are like a soft pink um but otherwise they were like exactly the same pink sparkly gumboots and i actually kept them for years after they stopped fitting me um and only like two or three years ago i got rid of them i think they were going moldy or something but i kept them in storage because i love them so much and i was so excited when i saw kmart had um these gumboots sound like there was something in that um they are actually amazing they are so fantastic i love them i wear them like every day going to check the mail feeding the ducks going outside with castor you can't get better than pink sparkly gumboots also from kmart the other pink sparkly glittery this is like the most amazing makeup bag um with its little tube of purple cream in there. This, I saw it and I was like, <laughs> that was pretty much my reaction. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep like my makeup or my nail polish in here or just my favorites, hair dye, nail polish, eyeshadow or something like that. But I am in love with this, it is amazing. Another thing I got this month, one of these I bought for myself, one of them was a birthday gift. I collect um, Funko Pops Pop Finals and I got the limited edition, I think it was Emerald City Comic Con, Padme. She is amazing. I was so excited when I heard that Padme was being released as a Funko Pop, especially in this outfit because I love this scene. I adore Padme. Um, and then I didn't think I would be getting it because I thought it would end up being like really expensive. But I got this from Davy Boy's Toys, um, which is an Australian shop. And I was just so excited that I could get it for a like pretty reasonable price. It was only a few dollars more expensive than a new Funko Pop. And I love her so much. She is like in pride of place on my bookshelf. Alongside... Ginny on a broom. She is amazing. I love the stand. I was enamored with the stand as much as with Ginny herself. I have quite a few of the Harry Potter ones because I love Harry Potter. And Ginny and Luna are my favorites. Um, and this Ginny, I don't know if they actually have another Ginny released, but this Ginny, she is just perfection. Possibly a hint at what's to come with Pottery Pottery Month. I think it would be Pottery Month. That would be pretty fun. I got this um, gorgeous green toned vase pot. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a plant in it. A lot of the pottery that I get 
Um, I'll either use it as vases, kind of feature pieces in my room, or we put plants in them. This one was $1.50, I think, possibly. It's got like a little bubble, which has then leaked um, when it was made. So I'm not sure if they put that as damaged, but it's amazing. It was supposed to have a lid, I reckon, but I don't think it came with a lid. But I love this so much. I've just got it up on my shelf at the moment because it's so nice. I don't think I could have a monthly favourites video without featuring at least a Lush goodie because Lush is decadence for me. I adore Lush products and um, we did an order recently and at the mo and at the moment my favourite it's a bit messy and I have used quite a bit of it is the Milky Bar. Um, bubble bar. Oh, it's so nice. It's just like I could just stay for five hours in a bath with this in it. Um, it's such a delicious bath. Like it's so relaxing and so gorgeously bubbly and just so decadent. Um, and it's soothing and it's calming and it's amazing and it smells so nice and it's milky bath and it's vegan so that's pretty much fantastic um oh. i don't think i have ever used a full um bubble bar or the fizzing fizzing balls i'm not sure what they're called in a bath before i always get quite a few baths out of one bubble bar or um the fizzy balls and so far I've had two baths out of that and I reckon I'm going to get at least two more. Um, and I am looking forward to them. Now there's only two more things to go. I'm not sure if this is... Oh, there might be three. This amazing Twig Seeds notebook I got for my birthday. I love Kate Knapp's designs and the Twig Seeds. Her creative designs are just amazing. And um, I can never have too many notebooks. I'm very happy with that. I got this little shoulder bag, um, which is a gorgeous, like, mustard colour. Goes very nicely with what I'm wearing now, if I do say so myself. I believe the brand is Sassy Duck. I got this secondhand for a couple of dollars, um, and I just saw it and loved the colour, loved the design. It doesn't say whether it's made of leather. It's kind of like a leather look, uh, but I'm almost certain it's not judging by the feel of it. It feels more like leather look, um, plasticated leather. It's a really, really nice length. Um, it opens up all the way, which seems really neat. Has plenty of storage inside. And I wasn't going to be leaving it, honestly. And lastly, because there was actually one more thing, this book, um, Women in This Town by Giuseppe Santamaria. It is um, part of a series by the same author. Um, I got this for my birthday as well. Um, we already have Men in This Town and it's such an interesting, um, fashion, thought-provoking, like, looking at perspectives and looking at style and finding stories about people, hearing stories about people, um, it's just... They're such interesting books, quite similar to Brandon Sanderson's um, Humans of New York, but kind of more focused on the pictures telling a story. There's not that much dialogue. And this is The Women in This Town, and it was really fantastic. They're just so interesting, and I love that kind of book, and I love this book in particular. So that is March Favourites. I feel like it was a very productive month, a very inspiring month, a very changeable month. Um, I mean, Cast has been introduced to fashion. I have been introduced to full-on hair colour. Um, the pink gumboots are back and Lush Barks are also back in my life. They've been missing for too long. I hope anyone and everyone watching this has had a wonderful month and I'm already excited to see what my favourite things from April are. So, Let's get through this month. Let's have some 
excellent times and maybe next week I will be back with a pottery haul. Maybe I'll find something else and maybe the pottery haul will never come. Poor pottery haul, I'm sure it will come. It deserves it. This I also needed to feature. It's an amazing, um, I believe it's vintage cross stitch of some cranes or ibises. I won it in an auction for $23 and um, it's kind of a birthday present to myself. I have it hanging over my bed. It's just perfection. Definitely a favourite of this month. 